This is where I also receive women for counseling and if they want to abort their baby, they come. Sometimes the boyfriend comes, sometimes the mothers, the father, and we have a family uh, counseling together. And I share, I show them the different um, models with the different stages of the development of the baby and explain about the different methods of abortion that is done. And um, uh, this is a one thing that I do here in the office, but the other thing is that I give seminars for women that have had abortion uh, for he its healing seminar. And uh, one special project that is done, and I'll show you, is that at the end of the seminar, um, what we do is that I tell them to buy shoes for the baby they aborted and to write a note for their baby my background is that I did abortion when I was in the military service in Israel and God took me to a process of healing and, and restoring me with the pain and the loss of my baby. And so today I feel that I'm part of my calling is to help other women to be restored from the pain of abortion. So this is the shoes that I got for my baby. And the note that I wrote for my baby, I called him El Natan which means the Lord gave. And I said, in Natan, God gave you life, but I took them from you. Sorry, mommy. And um, it's, there is some uh, release and a closure while you really uh, ask forgiveness even from your baby. Ask forgiveness from the Lord and forgive yourself for what you have done. And so we have uh, a collection here of these baby shoes and then it's going to be a monument because I'm going to collect 150 shoes that, which means 150 abortion each day and present it in the different places in Israel to show what we are doing and how abortion is hurting women. We need to speak for the broken women. That, have, that suffer from consequences of abortion in their body and in their soul. I just want to share also that I shared with my children, I believe uh, our children uh, need to know about this, that I, may, I had an abortion and even my children went through a process of grieving and each one of them, we, we have four children, each one of them did uh, shoes for their um, brother they never met and also my older daughter she did something special here as a monument for the brother she never met and she said here El Natan my dear brother and this is something that she made extra to the shoes and the note that she wrote to him and uh, it was amazing how even through this process they felt so much better after doing this because each one of them was really hurt that um, their mommy did abortion so um, it became a family uh, thing as we all grieved and came into a place of peace with El Natan. I have 15 years of experience as a counselor for women uh, that have uh, unwanted pregnancy or in crisis pregnancy. And in one case that I was helping many years ago, this single mother, she kept the baby and um, the, the land, the, she, she was fired from work while she was pregnant, which is against the law in Israel. And she didn't have a job and money. And when she gave birth, she came home with her baby and the landlord said that she has to go and leave and she cannot stay there anymore because she couldn't pay. And this really broke me because I helped her with baby clothes and food bags, but I couldn't help her with housing and I couldn't help her more than that. So um, it, 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 was, it broke my heart and, and on that day also my husband in his outreaches, he met a, a homeless person and uh, you know, we started to feel that we want to help more and to have a place. And we started to pray with our kids every night that God will provide a house for us. So in cases like this, women can come and, res and have a shelter. And, and uh, four years later, we did have uh, a, a beautiful gift that was given to us that could help us uh, buy this house and pay half of it. And um, so two months after we entered this house, 
we had we received the first woman to come to the shelter and so we had to do a renovation here to put wall and a door and um, and so this is a kitchen that we built uh, for her and uh, the place is a shelter but multifunction I do the seminars for women that have had abortion here and people are helping from all over the world for example here we have a woman from Finland that is knitting uh, uh, for the babies uh, she knits for them she sewed the blankets and she knit the blankets here and it's beautiful how people like uh, wants to help the babies that are saved from abortion here in Israel so uh, we do have here also all clothes that we give for babies and mothers after the woman give birth and choose life for her baby. Yeah, this is her room. She lives here basically. And um, we have some of the women, pictures of some of the women that stayed with us. Uh, many others stayed with us and lived with us for, um, we had um, uh, a family that lived with us. We had one Arab woman that lived with us. But this is some of the women, pictures of some of the women that uh, lived here with their baby. Uh, in one case, we had here three generation where the, ma the mother that you know kept the baby and didn't abort stayed here also with her mother. So we had the grandmother, the mother, and the baby, three generations staying here until they found a place and rented a place in another area in Israel.